<laughs> I'm talking freezes tonight, and I'm talking freezes because Northeast Texas is going to have one tomorrow morning. Dallas Fort Worth will not. We'll have a little bit of patchy frost, but you know, as, as meteorological spring began on March 1, astronomical spring begins tomorrow at 10.06. You look at these numbers here, the number of freezes we've had so far this season, we've only had 15. We're tied for the sixth fewest uh, in any given year. Those records go back to 1898. The normal to date is 29. The fewest number of freezes, you go back to 2017, we had 11 in 2017. 2012, 2000, 1932, and 1931, we had 14. So the average last freeze, it's not that unusual for parts of North Texas to have a freeze this time of the year because the average last one is March 12th. But We've had freezes as late as April 13th. That happened, maybe for some of you young folks, it seems like 100 years ago, but 1997 and then way back in 1957, we had those take place too. Look at, let me step out of the way here. Look at these numbers here across the area. I mean, look at these low temps. Plano, you'll drop to 39, 38 in Richardson, 38 in Wiley. We'll have lots of 30s across the area. I mean, we're looking at 30, 38 in Pilot Point, 37 Salina, 35 in Celeste, 35 in Greenville. So cold tonight. And when you look at these numbers and this frost or freeze line that we have across the area, I mean, right along uh, Highway 380 and then north, patchy frost is certainly possible. Then you head over to Greenville, Canton, Athens, and Palestine. We could have a freeze or a, I should say a frost there tomorrow. 68 is the high tomorrow. That's two degrees, two degrees cooler than normal. But then we get up to normal on Wednesday. We'll be above normal Thursday, above normal Friday, above normal Saturday, and Sunday above normal too. Four and five Five degrees above normal on uh, Sunday and Monday as we head into this upcoming weekend. Highs this weekend in the middle 70s. I have no rain in my forecast. I have clear skies around here as we head through tonight. Look at tomorrow. I mean, lots of sunshine as we head through tomorrow. Temperatures in the upper 60s tomorrow as we head through tomorrow night. Maybe a passing cloud. Then as we head through Wednesday, we start to cloud up on Wednesday. I have a little bit of rain comes back into the forecast as we head through Wednesday night. So 10% Wednesday. Look at this. I mean, we're looking at like 50% coverage with our rain as we head through Wednesday night and Thursday, about 50% of us pick up rain. Right now, there's no severe weather in the forecast on Thursday, but 50% of it's Wednesday night, 50% of us Thursday see rain, and then the rain moves out and we dry up as we head through Friday and Saturday with a small chance of rain to end the weekend on Sunday. And any rain we pick up Wednesday night and Thursday, it's going to be relatively light, a tenth, maybe be a quarter of an inch. That's it. Tonight, the forecast, patchy frost in those areas I just mentioned. Light winds, chilly tonight, 40 degrees is a low tonight. During the day tomorrow, a sunny day, a dry, seasonable day. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow. Light winds, southwest 5 to 10, maybe up to 15, but a nice day tomorrow. 68 is the high. The next 14 days, we hit 70 on Wednesday. There's that chance of a spotty shower late in the day. Mavs game right here on WFA Thursday night. There's the rain on Thursday, dry Friday and Saturday, 73 and 76 those two days. A little bit of rain Sunday, a better chance of rain on Monday. Tuesday, I even keep a little rain in. Dry on Wednesday, Thursday, and dry on Good Friday. Mavs game that night at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Mm. Right here on WFA, that's a March 29th, and then March 31st this year is Easter. Looks like there's a chance. It's 13 days away, but there is a, a low chance right now for a little bit of rain. We'll fine-tune that forecast and hopefully uh, keep it dry for the Easter bunny and the Easter egg hunts on Sunday morning.